Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Yojong Chonbo Asia Pacific branch. And uh, today I'd like to present a lecture in connection with our three days uh, special workshop. I'd like to share my screen. Okay. Uh -huh. Just wait a minute. Okay, here it is. Can you see my slides, everyone? Okay. So, welcome to the Special Chonbo Education for the Victory of Vision 2027. <laughs> the topic I'd like to share with you today is the significance of Chonbo Works and Chon Shimwan. So this is part one of our presentation. So we know that uh, different religions has different what we call uh, pilgrimage places like the center of uh, Pilgrim, the pilgrimage place where brothers and sisters, members of the congregation always go there, even only once in their lifetime. So, for example, for Islam, they have the Mecca that's somewhere in Saudi Arabia, in the Middle East. Yes, our Muslim brothers and sisters uh, go there to show their, uh, how do you say, dedication and uh, devotion. Uh, for the Christianity, particularly the Roman Catholics, they have the Vatican, isn't it? So it's somewhere in Italy. <laughs> and then uh, we have also Lumbini for the our brothers and sisters in Buddhism. That is the birthplace of uh, Lord Buddha. I personally went there. Uh, that's in Nepal. And then... Uh, Yes, these are the main religious temples. Yes, how? But how about a unificationist? What is our pilgrimage uh, area that we consider a really holy place, right? So that is the what we call the Yojong Heaven and Earth Chonbo Training Center. That's the Yojong Chonwon Complex in Korea. So this place was especially prepared by our beloved true parents. And uh, this place is a very, very special place. True parents said this is the restored Garden of Eden. So if Adam and Eve did not fall, then uh, this the place where they live is the Garden of Eden. And that is the place that or where the kingdom of heaven on earth can begin, starting with Adam and Eve reaching individual perfection, and then they get married, established a family centered on God, expand this foundation to become an ideal tribe, ideal society, ideal nation, ideal world, where nature, human beings, and heavenly parent and spiritual world unite as one. Wow. So that place is the restored Garden of Eden. This is uh, the Hyojong Heaven and Earth, uh, Chonbo Training Center, the Hyojong Chonwon Complex. And uh, this is where, according to True Parents, will be the pilgrimage area or site for all of humankind. Not only for unificationists, but for all of humankind. That includes all religions, all nationality, all races. Wow, amazing, right? So this place is open to all of humankind who would like to really what experience and feel the love of heavenly parents and true parents so yes is it beautiful isn't it brothers and sisters very beautiful okay so this is the entrance when you go to our hyojong chonwon complex wow very uh, colorful especially during uh, springtime so many Flowers, beautiful flowers, colorful flowers, and the fragrance is so amazing. The air is so fresh. 
So nature is really, uh, uh, how do you call that? Contributing to our internal uh, comfort, right? as well as external comfort. See how beautiful that is, right? No pollution, huh? very, very nice air and uh, very nice to good to breathe. So this is the Tree of Love uh, Plaza. <clears throat> when we arrive there, we go here and then uh, relax for a bit. And then whoa, we can visit the different, uh, what, holy trees and move around, even go up to the Tree of the Blessing. Whoa, wow, that is a very nice top of the hill kind of experience. We can uh, we can meditate here, we can pray, and we can breathe with wonderful air, right? And uh, <clears throat> we can see around 360 degrees, the entire area, how beautiful that is. So this is our Hyojong Chonbo Heaven and Earth Training Center in Korea. It is being developed by True Mother day by day. Many, many developments are taking place here. And this will be the future, not only a pilgrimage area for all of humankind, but a model, a model city, a model place where all of humankind can truly live as one family and the God. Whoa. So this is the Hyojong Chonwon complex. You can see it's a very big area. True parents purchased this 1971. And uh, this is like 2,630 hectares <laughs> or 6,500 acres. So this will become the hometown of all people of faith, according to true parents. Not only one religion or one nation, but all of humankind you know, living as one family under God. So our beloved true father and true mother really offer incredible chong song in order to uh, establish the right spiritual environment for this place. So even in 1971, true father himself holding that that axe, you know, as you can see, he really uh, flattened this area in order to build a training center. So true father, true mother, they really offered their sincere devotion in order that this place can be a place where all of humankind can receive grace you know, and heavenly fortune as they come here. So <clears throat> as a true parent said, centering on Chongpyong Lake, I prepared a place where we could build our training center originally. There was not even one plot of land where we could build a house. Uh -huh. So this place you know, became a crucial place that can really become a training center through parents said like that. So through father himself even uh, stayed in the tent, you know, sleep in this tent. Uh, at the time, there are no accommodation yet. It's a pioneer, pioneering uh, what time. Even through father, through mother, they themselves really offer their heart and their love, uh, offering their sincere prayer and devotion for this place. Whoa, you can see. Okay, so this is what? The Hyojong Chonwon Complex, brothers and sisters. This will be the what uh, place of pilgrimage for all of humankind and also a, a tourist destination for. <clears throat> All of humankind, a model city where all of humankind can be true brothers and sisters. Aju? <laughs> okay, so what are the, what Hyojong Chonbu works are being done here in this uh, Hyojong Chonwon complex? <clears throat> so the works centered on heavenly parents and true parents are being done here. The works of the substantial Holy Spirit and their true parents direct supervision, works that save spirits in hell, Whoa. and the restoration of the spirit world. As you can see, there are many spirits in the spiritual world compared to people here on earth. And then uh, most of them are in hell, as you can see, uh, based on the principle, right? Once you don't live a life 
centered on the principle. When you go to the spiritual world, you really suffer. And these uh, spirits has to be saved. <clears throat> so Chonbu Works is initiating and doing this kind of works. Okay. And then you have works that connect spirit world and that physical world to cooperate, to give rebirth to individuals, families, and nation where the kingdom of heaven on earth can be built. Oh, you can see. Physical world and spiritual world can connect together and work together in order to give inspiration, to give rebirth, new life to individuals, families, and even nations. Look at that. So this is a very special place. It's a place where works of educating young people of the world is being done. It's like what True Mother has been doing, has been doing now through the uh, Hyojong Top Gun workshops you know, for young people around the world. And also we have the works of gathering blessed families to attend workshops so that they can step forward to the world. Whoa. Educating also blessed families, you no, know? blessed wives. Like that, Because uh, uh, centering on this place, we can really receive you know, grace and heavenly fortune. Okay, that is the Hyojong Chonbu Complex. So <clears throat> what are the activities of Chonbu Works? Number one, we have the ancestors and evil spirits, liberation and blessing. This is the place where we conduct the uh, ancestor liberation and even liberation of evil spirits, meaning you know, they will be uh, attending this 100-day workshop in the spiritual world. They will be liberated from their situation of difficulty in the spiritual world, and then they can receive the blessing as well. Number two, this is the place where we can uh, offer our wish papers, the Hyojong offering paper, that our wishes be granted uh, as we write it and offer it with sincere devotion. Third, this is the place where we can have house of ancestors and absolute good spirits. Oh. <coughs> Interesting, right? So our ancestors in the spiritual world can have a house right, in the spirit world as well as in the physical world. So how can we do that? Uh, through the Chonbu works. Attending Chonbu works. Yes, absolute good spirits can also live there as well. Number four, pilgrimage and holy trees. Yeah, we can uh, do our pilgrimage and uh, what? Pray in the holy trees. That's in the Chonbu, uh, Yojong Chonbu complex. John one complex that's in Korea. Uh -huh. So this place will also be the place where uh, our work to substantiate John Ilguk on earth can be supported by the spirit world. This is the place where we can really offer sincere devotion and mobilize the spiritual world in order that we can help in fulfilling our responsibility and substantiate John Ilguk on earth. So number one, how can the spiritual world support us in our in our mission on earth? Number one, uh, by giving us, granting us heavenly fortune. That is uh, to become like lucky. <laughs> I'll explain uh, more about this based on testimonies of brothers and sisters. Yes, heavenly fortune. No? You're a lucky person, something like that. You become lucky. <laughs> Number two, protection from evil forces like an airbag. Yes. Because our environment is uh, filled with what evil spirits, so much evil influences, evil forces affects us as we live our life on this earth. So if we are we don't receive protection from these evil forces, we cannot fulfill our responsibility. So it will protect us. Let's, for example, uh, when we're driving our car, and uh, yeah, you meet an accident all the glasses in front of you and then uh, can go to your body even this uh, you know the the entire how do you say impact can go to your body once you meet an accident but if there is an airbag right even though you get accident that airbag can protect your body and you can you will not die so this uh, uh support of the spiritual world through good spirits can uh, protect us you know, from these evil 
influences and evil forces that will stop us from fulfilling our mission. So it's very, very important, right? Support of the spiritual world is very, very important. Third, dreams and vision. So the spiritual world can support us through dreams and vision, just like what happened to St. Paul. Saint Paul. You know, St. Paul, uh, he really, because of St. Paul, many Christians died. Can you imagine? He's an enemy of Christianity. But when he had this kind of vision where Jesus appeared to him, he completely changed, right? And he became a disciple of Jesus. And can you believe that St. Paul, because of St. Paul, uh, he actually wrote almost like three-fourths of the New Testament of the Bible. Whoa. He really wrote it <laughs> by himself. <laughs> can you imagine? From an enemy into a very incre amazing, incredible disciple of Jesus. And also because of St. Paul, Christianity spread around the world. Whoa. This is really amazing, isn't it? Dreams and vision can change an enemy right, into a incredible supporter for the sake of God's kingdom. Also, in the case of Constantine, uh, while uh, he was engaging in many wars, he he had a dream of if uh, he will bring this kind of uh, logo of uh, symbol wherever he goes, whatever war he will go into, he will always win this war. So, true enough, he really carried this uh, logo in her dream, and he really won all the wars. So he was really curious, what kind of logo is this? Finally, he found out it is the symbol of Christianity. <laughs> Constantine eventually legalized Christianity. And this leads to the, what? Christianity being recognized as the state religion of Rome. Whoa. Started with Constantine uh, in a dream. <laughs> so spiritual world has this kind of incredible impact and support. Even in the Philippines, cannot imagine. For me personally, I never heard of a political leader who always talks about unity, unity, talks about unification. He campaigned and then uh, this politician campaigned and tried to like win the presidential election by not saying anything bad uh, against uh, her, his opponent. He, he, he believes that he can win even though he will not uh, put down his enemy. Oh, but while uh, his enemy always criticize him, say many, many uh, bad things about him, but he never criticized his uh, opponent in the election. And then finally, when he won as the president, he even invite even his uh, political rivals and the enemy to uh, join his cabinet as long as they're capable. And it is for the good of the Filipino people because of their ability and their talent that can be used to serve the Filipino people, it's okay. This president, no? BBM, amazing. You cannot imagine how how come he even won landslide no, in the election. You can see many, many great leaders are appearing now and these people who has uh, incredible influence in their nation and in the world can uh, join us in building God's kingdom, substantiating Channel Gook through the support of the spirit world. Whoa. Dreams and visions. Uh, I have also a spiritual daughter. <clears throat> she did not attend 7 days, 21 days, 40 days uh, Divine Principle Seminar. But she's really very, very active. She always give tithes. She always, what, do uh, hunduke, offering her bowing and uh, prayer and reciting the pledge reading Father's speech during Hunduk Keb, even by himself, every day, without fail. No, he read the three, uh, one hour EDP 100 times, three hours EDP 100 times, 10 hours EDP 100 times, the black book, uh, exposition to the divine principle 100 times. Whoa, <laughs> can you imagine? And he always uh, witnessed, he also joined uh, HTM, HTM mobilization and even finished 430 couples no? blessing and then trading ceremony. Very, very uh, active and really what 
love true parents, always attention to service, give tithes. So I wonder, why is she like that? And then I asked her like this. And then he said, Oh, true father appeared in my dream. And he told me, no matter how difficult it is, never give up. Just move forward. Just go and move forward. Never give up. No matter how difficult. <laughs> he has this dream of true father. <laughs> so you can see, dreams and vision is sometimes, no? You cannot even forget this all throughout your life. But if you attend seven days, 21 days seminar, Maybe after one week, two weeks, you forget what you learned already. <laughs> but <laughs> dreams and vision, impossible to forget all throughout your life, isn't it? So dreams and vision, support of the spiritual world, is like shortcut no? in educating our spiritual children, even educating ourselves, no? and uh, even people uh, that are not members of this movement. So mobilizing the spiritual world, the spiritual world supporting us is really a very important part of the providence. Are you? <laughs> so also number four, mind and body unity uh, or individual perfection. It supports us to unite our mind and body. Our mind or spirit actually, one supported by the spiritual world, once we are, our mind is focused on heavenly parents and true parents, it can receive uh, power four times no, stronger than before so that it can dominate the body. Whoa. And then mind and body can unite and you can become a mature person reaching individual perfection. So you can see spiritual world support is incredible to substantiate John Ilgok on earth. Let's do our best to get the support of the spiritual world. Is it? Yes, Adju. So at this time, Let's have some testimonies on Chonbu Works, brothers and sisters. Look, the banana story. <laughs> so somebody is walking. You, know, you can see. And then there is a uh, banana peel uh, along his way, on his path. And then what happens is that he stepped on it and his destiny is, or uh, his head you know, hit the concrete ground and he became a... Uh, Big, really big problem, big accident. And he, in the hospital, become comatose. The rest of his life, my goodness, just comatose. Cannot do anything. Just lie, lay down like this. Is this, uh, is this misfortune or heavenly fortune? As you can see, misfortune. This kind of misfortune can happen to you. My goodness. So, yeah. What if, brothers and sisters, what if, what if, there is this banana peel uh, along your path or way. And then somebody <laughs> pick it up. Mm -hmm. Somebody pick it up and put it in the waste can. So you did not, huh, what? You did not meet accident. You just uh, arrived home safely. Nothing happened. Because somebody get this banana peel along your path. You're, you're supposed to go to the hospital, be comatose, but it did not happen to you. You arrive home safely, nothing happened. So, should you be grateful to this person who get this banana peel? You should be grateful, right? You should. But, but what if you don't know? You don't know that he uh, take away your misfortune <clears throat> by getting this banana peel along your path. You don't know. Can you still be grateful? Actually, you cannot be grateful because you don't know. You thought it's just like an ordinary day. Huh? And nothing happened to you, just like ordinary day. But actually, somebody helped you. Only you don't know. This is actually the situation. When, when we liberate our ancestors and our ancestors are helping us, the spirit world helping us. Oh, good. Uh, spirits are helping us. Sometimes we don't know because we cannot see right what they're doing for us. So sometimes you are not grateful, right? <laughs> but brothers and sisters, I tell you, no, the spiritual world is actively supporting us, most especially when we liberate and bless our ancestors. Add you? Yes, yes. So uh, let's go to ancestors' liberation and blessing. So our Asia branch 
of uh, Ch Chonbo, right? Uh, branch is actually based in Thailand. Yes, our Asia branch based in Thailand. So these are our brothers and sisters uh, joining Chanyang Yoksa session during our Chonbo event in Thailand. Yo, it's a very beautiful place and the brothers and sisters are very inspired. You can see that, right? Uh huh. So this is Pongon, our training director. So you can see brothers and sisters really pray and even cry during these Chonbo events. They repent not only for their personal sins, but for the sins of uh, ancestors. So if descendants on earth <coughs> or who are alive on earth join Chonbu events and even offer their sincere devotion and even pray in repentance on behalf of ancestors, wow, we can really see our ancestors will be liberated and will be blessed eventually. Right? So these are really Chonbu works that can support the establishment of God's kingdom on earth because these absolute good spirits will protect us, will cooperate with us in the form of heavenly fortune. So do you want heavenly fortune? Do you want to be lucky? <laughs> so if you are not lucky, meaning you are, what do you call that? You have misfortune. How can you fulfill your mission on earth? It will disturb you a lot, right? And to the extent you will fail eventually. You cannot do your responsibility. But if uh, we have the support of the good spirits, of absolute good ancestors, of the spiritual world, oh, my goodness, we will be lucky. Everything we do can be really smooth and easy and we can really fulfill our responsibility. So, what do you think? <clears throat> Which one more important, brothers and sisters? Heavenly fortune or one million dollars? <laughs> Some people said, oh, oh, it's better to have one million dollars and heavenly fortune at the same time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I also agree. <laughs> better, no? Heavenly fortune and the money, right? But look, if you put as priority uh, the financial or money thing and then Seeking heavenly fortune only number two. Wow. Even though you get your goal of having one million dollars. But if you did not get heavenly fortune and you have misfortune, whoo, only one accident, na? freak accident, you go to hospital. All your money go to the hospital. So you lose, you lose what? Your money, you lose heavenly fortune, you lose everything. But if you live your life, number one, prioritizing heavenly fortune first, <laughs> and then you capture heavenly fortune, then money will run after you. <laughs> so you have heavenly fortune, you have $1 million, even more. <laughs> so be wise, brothers and sisters. Live a life. Let us live a life where we capture heavenly fortune first. Huh? Then money will just run, uh, follow later, naturally follow us later. Are you? This is the way we have to live our life, to be, to be victorious. Huh? So let me share with you one testimony from one member. Look at that. Let me read this one. <clears throat> While riding a bus with my children, the bus was hit by another bus and the glasses were shattered. Suddenly, I was pushed by a strong force towards a certain direction. When I looked back at the seat I was seated, so many broken glasses were scattered there. If I did not vacate that seat, my entire body would have been wounded badly. My ancestors really protected me. I have another experience where I was walking across the street. A fast-moving van was moving in the wrong lane and almost hit me. I can see my face in the mirror of the van when it crossed my way like a lightning. I felt somebody embraced me and hold me back to stop me. Just one more step and I would have been dead. Wow, look at this testimony from uh, Mrs. Imelda Huantana, 54 years old, 30,000 couples from the Philippines. Yeah, her experience is incredible. He would have met an accident if not the ancestors stopped him from no, crossing the street. This kind of thing, can can can. this cannot be paid by money. You, you, you have this kind of fortune. You have this kind of support from your ancestors and good spirit. You can really be, what, how do you say? 
able to fulfill your responsibility and mission. And the evil forces cannot hurt you, cannot stop you. Mm. So this is the support of the spiritual world, brothers and sisters. Very, very important that we capture heavenly fortune first. So let me continue. After I liberated one to seven generations of my ancestors, I started to ask them to help me financially so that I can also liberate my other ancestors up to 430 generations. I was so surprised that many people called me to ask my services in building their houses. They were referred to by my former clients who were satisfied by my services. Whoa, even financially, yeah? money followed her because he liberated even only one to seven generations of ancestors. Let me continue. I am now here in HQ to liberate my ancestors until 430 generations. I was wondering, what can happen next when I finish blessing my 430 generations of ancestors? If one to seven generations can protect me like this, what more can 430 generations do to me? I am very grateful to true parents for this great grace that I received through ancestor liberation and blessing. Adieu? Yes. This is amazing testimony. So because of this great works of uh, Chonbo, this incredible grace of Chonbo works, True Mother gave instructions that the uh, Chonbo Training Center in Korea you know, can uh, what be spread around the world. Oh, True Mother gave this direction. So finally, in Asia Pacific, we have uh, a branch here, and that is centered uh, in Thailand. This is our training center in Thailand, the Chonbo. No, Hyojong Heaven and Earth Chonbo Training Center in Thailand. That is the Asia Pacific branch. Yes. So uh, in Asia, we already have this branch as directed by True Mother. There is also one in Africa, one in Europe, one in South America. Now there is North America that's centering on the United States and Japan no, as well. So True Parent Speech, uh, True Parent said, you must liberate your ancestors. Huh? To liberate them, you should love your ancestors in the spirit world and invest in them more than in your family and relatives on earth. Wow. So we, we love our family, right? So we, if our mother got sick and we don't have money, we bring to hospital. We even borrow money just to what make sure that our beloved mother or beloved brother or sister is okay. Isn't it? Yes. We, can, we want to save our relatives because we love them so much on earth. But True Father said, we have to love our ancestors in the spirit world more than we love our relatives on earth. So we have to really liberate our ancestors in the spiritual world. We have to bless them. No, We have to really be willing to sacrifice for them more than our relatives on earth. True Father said like this. So, True Father said, no great, now great chaos is arising in the spirit world. If you do not receive the blessing, become the Messiah for your family and your tribe and perform the liberation of your ancestors up to seven generations, problems will arise. Yes. That's why we have to really bless our ancestors. Uh -huh. Look, all your ancestors are giving you diseases and offering you remedies. Ah, Meaning if we don't do this kind of ancestor liberation, our ancestors will be, uh, yeah, will uh, guide us. <laughs> will guide us by giving us diseases. <laughs> and finally, you realize, oh, I have to really you know, liberate my ancestors. And uh, when you decide to go that, to do that, then your ancestors will offer remedies uh, offer medicine to solve those diseases, solve those problems. Oh, amazing. So you have to really do it. <clears throat> you will be caught and taken away. If you are taken, it is faster to set things right in the spirit world. Oh, true father said like that. So we have to really, uh, <clears throat> what? Uh, do our responsibility while on earth. 
uh, by really living a life centered on the, uh, guided by the principle and uh, liberate and bless our ancestors. Because there will come a time when if we cannot do it on earth, then we have to do it in the spiritual world. So it is easier to do it in the spiritual world. Our father said like this. So when we liberate and bless our ancestors, the entangled and confusing lineage can be corrected and put properly in place. This will resolve the many problems on earth caused by satanic lineage. So for example, right, based on the principle, we know that our lineage belongs to Satan's lineage. We came from Satan's lineage. Our ancestors came from Satan's lineage because of the fall of Adam and Eve. So we have to liberate our ancestors, you know, seven generations at a time, or even uh, yeah, at the same time. So if we bless our one to seven generation, what will happen? From Satan's side, from Satan's side, our ancestors, whoa, go to God's side. You can see that, right? So, and then, if we liberate from 8 to 210 generations huh, belonging to Satan's side, our ancestors, and then whoa, they go to God's side. Whoa. So step by step, this lineage centering on Satan is being corrected and being uh, what liberated and they're blessed. And they belong to God's side after they receive the blessing. And then from 211 generations, to 430 generation, we liberate and we bless. What will happen? This uh, transfer. <laughs> transfer to God's side. No? And then uh, from 431 generation, what will happen then? No, Remaining sets until Adam and Eve. No? According to True Mother, the 430 generations that we liberated and blessed, they will be the one these ancestors will be the one. 430 couples, huh? 430 generations will be the one to liberate and bless the remaining sets from 431 up to uh, until Adam and Eve. Whoa. So once we liberate all our ancestors until Adam and Eve, look at that, brothers and sisters. Everybody go to God's side. <laughs> and then our lineage will become lineage centering on God. Wow, including our ancestors. From the moment God created this universe, all our ancestors up until us today belongs to God's side. Are you? <laughs> How wonderful it is. No? How wonderful it is. So we have these testimonies from our brothers and sisters. Let me read one from uh, Satchichanya from uh, Thailand. I saw a lot of them, you can see that. Let me read again. I saw a lot of them enter the room, especially when the time of holy wine ceremony. I saw the two big bright spirits on the stage. Whoa, you can see. This is uh, our blessed family. You can see uh, many spirits enter, enter the room, right? And uh, they received the holy wine. Whoa. And then two big bright spirits on the stage. That is true father and true mother. Oh, so this sister who is open spiritually can see what is happening in the venue during ancestor blessing ceremony. So another one, another testimony. I want to give a massive thanks to our true parents for this amazing Chonbo works. And I would like to appreciate the blessing that we receive. Okay. So you can see what are the grace of Chonbo works. Once again, number one. Ancestors become absolute good spirits. Wow. Our ancestors, even though they committed a lot of mistakes in the past, but if we join ancestor liberation and blessing on this earth, our ancestors will go 100-day workshop in the spiritual world, and then they will join the blessing if we apply for blessing on earth. And then they become absolute good spirits. Oh, how wonderful it is. No, from evil spirits, our ancestors become absolute good spirits. This is incredible. Grace never ever happened in history, no, brothers and sisters. And we become the savior of our ancestors. Oh. Next, enemy becomes spiritual children. Oh, you know, uh, our ancestors, when they killed somebody in the past, that uh, person that they killed become very angry. 
they want to take revenge. So this, the spirits of these people killed by our ancestors who are very angry, they want to take revenge, they enter our bodies. Then when they enter our bodies, they want to give us sickness. They want to give us uh, cancer. They want to give us misfortune because they want to take revenge to the person who killed them. Right? And they are taking revenge through the ones that are alive on earth. That is the descendants you know, of the person who killed them. Well, do something wrong to them. So, this evil spirit wants to harm us. But, if we join Chanyang during Chonbu events, these evil spirits in our bodies can be liberated. And they go to the spiritual world, a 1000 days workshop, and then they can be blessed. Once they are blessed, they become absolute good spirits. So, from evil spirits who wants to harm us, they come back on earth and support us because we become their spiritual parent. <laughs> These evil spirits become our spiritual children, but they are no longer evil, uh, evil spirits. They are already absolute good spirits. They are very grateful to us, and they will help us in our mission. So our enemy becomes our spiritual children. These evil spirits. Wow! That incredible grace. Meaning, from misfortune, no? where you can have sickness and some problems, no? to heavenly fortune because these evil spirits will help us instead of killing us or harming us or giving us misfortune. That's how important attending Chanyang Yoksa session is, brothers and sisters. So next, misfortune becomes heavenly fortune. Look at that. Eh? Instead of becoming a person who re receives mis misfortune and uh, thereby you cannot fulfill your responsibility, it's turned into heavenly fortune. Oh, because of these good spirits, uh, evil spirits becoming good spirits and uh, give us heavenly fortune in, instead of misfortune. Wow, how amazing grace it is that we can have this chamber works that true parents allowed us to inherit. Wow. Number four, protection from evil forces. Oh, we can be protected from these evil forces because there's a lot of absolute good spirits working with us, cooperating with us. Without these good spirits, only evil spirits you know, around us, how can you fulfill your mission? It's very, very difficult. No matter how hard work, no matter no matter hard you work, <laughs> no, no matter how much hard work you do, you still cannot break through. <laughs> but if we have these many, what, good spirits helping us, whoa, our works, in fulfilling our responsibility becomes very, very smooth. Adieu. <laughs> so is the is the what support of the spiritual world very important, brothers and sisters? Incredibly important. So let's give our thanks to our beloved true parents for giving us this incredible grace of Chonbu works, giving to us this amazing opportunity to mobilize the spiritual world spiritual world through the Chonbo works, through the Chonbo events. Kamsahamnida, good luck and be victorious my dear brothers and sisters. Let's give thanks to our beloved heavenly parents and true parents. Kamsahamnida.